We know there's a Trump investigation. I have investigated Trump and his children and held them accountable for their misconduct with the Trump Foundation. There were experts on every network scratching their heads and asking, what is he being charged with? I also sued the Trump administration more than 100 times for DACA, the travel ban, separation of children from their families at the border. So I know that work. I know how to follow the facts and hold people in power accountable. I know a lot of judges that would have been not too pleased to receive an indictment like this would have said, you know, what the heck is this? I mean, what are you alleging? And Bragg just sort of waved it off and said, I don't have to really say. Nobody got harmed by this. The state wasn't deprived of any tax revenue. There are substantial threshold legal questions here. And this case could collapse. The next Manhattan District Attorney is going to inherit that investigation, which you know could be the most important investigation in the history of the country. It's very hard to come up with any uh, rationale for what Bragg has been doing here. We shouldn't be regarding Alvin Bragg as a law enforcement official, we should be regarding him as what he is, which is an elected progressive Democrat who mm -hmm. campaigned on two things, basically not enforcing the law, and number two, using the power of his office to go after one guy, Donald Trump. I'm the candidate in the race who has the experience with, with Donald Trump. I was the chief deputy in the attorney general's office. We sued the Trump administration over a hundred times. I believe we have to hold them accountable. The goal of all of these things is to interfere in an election. That should never be happening yeah. in the United States of America. Yet another Marxist communist attempt uh, to you know, change our country for the worst. It's terrifying. And Americans see this for what it is, an abuse of our legal system meant to interfere in the presidential election. Uh, but you know, polls show it's backfiring only solidifying Trump's support. And voters see him as a victim of unscrupulous political enemies who are weaponizing the laws.